Happy Monday and Merry Christmas to you. Uh, we're coming into the week where uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas services, all that stuff is happening this week. So again, Merry Christmas to you. And I want to cover a verse with you uh, at the beginning of this week that I won't have covered on any of the Sunday messages or any of the services that we're doing. And yet it's a great passage, Luke chapter 2, this is verse 8. The night, that night, some shepherds were in the field outside of the village, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terribly frightened, but the angel reassured them, Do not be afraid. He said, I bring you good news of great joy for everyone. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born tonight in Bethlehem, the city of David. And this is how you will recognize him. You'll find a baby lying in a manger, wrapped snugly in strips of cloth. Suddenly the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God, glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, uh, peace to all whom God favors. So my main observation from today, and it's something that I want to pray over you, involves the word favor, peace and favor. At the beginning of this story is fear, at the end of the story is favor, and in the middle of it is Jesus. And so if you were to evaluate your life right now or Christmas right now or even your thoughts of 2022, and it was on a scale of 1 to 10 with fear being 1 and favor being 10, where are you? And I hope that you're like me. You want to be a long ways away from fear and a lot closer to favor. But if you're not there, how do you increase God's peace and God's favor in your life? I think there's some insights in, in this story. And Jesus, of course, is the crux. He's in the middle of those two words. And it comes out like this. I bring you good news of great joy to everyone, a Savior, the Messiah, the Lord. I mean, it's just underscoring several titles of Jesus right there. So to kind of mash up the, the application and observation uh, through the rest of this, I'll put it this way. When Jesus is at the center, your fears can diminish and his favor can increase. And I also want to underscore then the word glory, because that's a unique word used here. Glory to God in the highest heaven, peace on earth to whom all God favors. The more my life give, gives God glory, the more peace and favor he gives back to me. And there's a great verse about this, Romans 11, 36, that says, from him and through him and for him, are all things to him be glory forever and ever. You and I are, are made to give God glory. The more your life give, gives God glory, the more his peace and his favor will rest on you. It's a big theme in the Bible. It's actually used 275 times in English translations, the word glory. And yet it's not a word that we think about a lot or use a lot to where it creates a word picture. And so I want to just underscore the word glory with a few statements. Here's number one. You cannot experience all of God's peace if you're out of sync with God's purpose. And if his purpose is to bring you glory, you got to learn more about the word glory. And so I think one of the great scriptures that talks about this, I'm just going to give you one more passage you know, today, so a little bit Bible heavy, but you know, it's the end of the year. I'm trusting that as you're leaning in, this is all good stuff for you. First Chronicles 29, 11 to 13. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven is yours. Yes, O Lord, yours is the kingdom. You are to be exalted as head over all. Wealth and honor come from you. You are the ruler of all things. In your hands are strength and power to exalt and to give strength to all. Now, our God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. You could meditate on that passage for the rest of this week, and I bet God would keep giving you good insights. Uh, the part I want to highlight is this. The more my glory goes up, the more his favor and peace comes down. And I've said this before, but let me kind of etch it on the wallpaper of 2021 one more time. Far too many people want to do their own thing but have God's blessing on it but God never promises to bless my ways or your ways. He only promises to bless his when we're doing them. 
And so I just want to encourage you again, this verse out of First Chronicles is about glory, but it's also about recognizing everything is His. So at the end of the day, the only way I ever fully get in on my purpose with God and His purpose working through me is that I go all in. I say, God, it's all yours. I give you my bucket list. I give you my to-do list. Um, I give you access to my calendar, to my wallet, to my social media accounts. Lord, they're all yours. I don't want to live to build my kingdom. I want to live to advance yours. And I think the day you do that, truly, glory goes up and more of his peace and favor comes down. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and on earth is yours. I hope today you say, including me, including everything about me, my past, my present, my future, everything. Let's end the year where we one more time just give God his rightful place in our lives and go into a brand new year saying, God, it's all yours. I'm living for your glory. Jesus, thank you for this story. Thank you that you went to ordinary, uh, common people to announce the good news, the great joy that's for all people that a Savior was born. You, you um, allowed them to express their glory in the heavens. And I pray that today that story wouldn't just be a, an ancient story. It would be our story. It would be that you've come to us, ordinary people, wanting to tell us good news and wanting us to get in on more of your peace and favor. So, Lord, as we, uh, as we keep surrendering, as we keep honoring you as Lord, as we keep um, uh, pushing um, our agendas aside and embracing yours, I pray that my friends uh, would see fear, uh, anxiety, uh, tension, Lord, in their lives go down and more of your peace and favor come upon them. I pray that in Jesus' name for the rest of this year and into 2022, in Jesus' name, amen.